Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to weekly vlogs. I know it's been a while. It's been a very long while. Uh, or if you're new here, hi, I'm Nicola and I make vlogs about my daily life. <laughs> uh, more recently, I have just moved in to my own house. So if you haven't seen any of those vlogs, go back, you can watch them. Uh, but it's time to get back to the weekly vlogging. I am in, I've been settled here now for probably, I want to say about maybe a month, maybe a little bit more, six weeks, something like that. Uh, it has been quite the journey, just getting used to a new routine, getting used to the adult -in, all the adult -in things, there are so many things that need to be done all the time. Uh, it's crazy, but I'm getting, I'm getting there, I'm getting used to it and I'm getting into a routine. And it's been great, actually. It has been really, really great. Anyway, what have I been up to? It's been quite a busy uh, few months, I'll be honest. But more recently, so obviously I moved into the house. Uh, and then a few weeks ago, we went to Bongo's Bingo. It was crazy. You just won a hundred pounds! Uh, my friend Helen won £100, which was one of the, the less um, weird prizes, let me tell you. They had some crazy, crazy prizes. Like, for example, one prize was this massive, giant, inflatable duck. And I'm, I don't, I'm not joking when I say it was ginormous. Anyway, uh, if you've never been to Bongo Spingle before, Google it. It was a great laugh. We had so much fun. Uh, we'll definitely be back. Anyway, what else? Uh, we also went, finally, to a little cottage um, for Angela and Natalie's 30th. We were supposed to go last year. It was cancelled because of Covid. It was rearranged to March. It was cancelled again because of Covid. And finally, we went last weekend. And it was great. It was so nice to just be away in the nature. Not that we spent very much time in the nature, but it was nice to be like in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so I will insert also some photos here of that. Anyway, what's happening this week? Well, uh, yesterday I went for a massage, did a little bit of Christmas shopping because I had some time to kill between picking up my Asda order. Uh, and then now I am going to brave the actual shopping centre to do hopefully, not all, but hopefully a lot more Christmas shopping. <sighs> I'm, I'm dreading it already, the time now is about quarter past nine a.m. Uh, I'm up, I'm ready to go, I'm gonna do that today. Wish me luck, <laughs> it's gonna be crazy, but let's go. Hello vlog. Okay, it is now half past twelve. I have made a really great start, a really good dent in the Christmas shopping so far. And I have managed to not spend a fortune, which is unusual for me. But I'm very aware now with having the house and everything that I am on a budget and it's not just buy whatever you want. So, uh, I'm, I'm getting there. I have pretty much sorted, I think, most of the kids stuff. I have got a couple of bits coming from Amazon for my dad and uh, I got Angela a couple of bits. I've, I'm nowhere near finished, absolutely by no means, but I have made a very good start today. So I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't know if I'm a bit early. There was some Christmassy things, like, you know when you go to a shopping centre and it's like, oh, Christmas spectacular and everything is Christmas themed and the decorations are up. It's not like that right now and I think it is obviously only the start of November. Uh, I think I am maybe a bit early. Primark did have some stuff, but not a whole lot. Uh, the kids section, fire. Absolute fire. Uh, ladies section, not, not great, I'll be honest, but it's fine. Uh, so... Anyway, I have one last stop. I'm going into Asda to see if I can find like daft things like pajamas. <sighs> you know, 
<laughs> the little like things that make up Christmas. I don't know. I'm Angela swears by pajamas at Christmas time. <laughs> So, anyway, um, I'm going to go and have a look in Asda, see if I can maybe also get some uh, Christmassy home decor. I did get a new tree yesterday. Bargain. It was £14 in B&M. So, if anybody's looking for a new Christmas tree, B&M, £14. <laughs> Treat yourself. Why not? Um, so, yes, I'm going to go in Asda, see if I can maybe pick up like a couple of Christmas, like, throw pillows and some things like that maybe a few more decorations uh if we remember last year i had a pink christmas tree so i'm just going to stick with that because i have a lot of decorations already for that so it seems like a bit of a waste to get a whole load of new ones if that makes sense so we're, we're having a pink tree again this year and then maybe next year i'll move to the more traditional but uh, so yeah, anyway, I feel like I'm rambling now. I'm going to go into Asda. I will come back later, show you if I got anything or not, and we'll just see what happens. Hello friends, it is Thursday, the 4th of November. I am in the kitchen. I'm going to make a min aero tray bake. Uh, it's actually my boyfriend's birthday on Saturday, we're celebrating tomorrow, uh, so I'm gonna make him a little birthday cake. As we know, not a very good cook, an even worse baker, so I'm not making an actual cake. Also, gluten free, so I can't eat an actual cake, so. Uh, I don't even know if he likes tray bake, but we're making it because I like it. So, living that gluten free life, I'm gonna be making it the base anyway with a uh, gluten-free biscuits and then it's a lot of chocolate this is a lot of calories mint aero and then white chocolate so this is going to be pretty good although the problem is the pan that I have is not very deep it's just like a regular oven tray I do not have any baking pans here. I also don't have a rolling pin, I just realised. Um, so I don't know how we're going to crush these biscuits, but we're going to make it work. Uh, I think it'll be pretty good. So that is what I'm up to right now. Uh, we are also going to go bowling tomorrow, so that should be interesting. Um, I'll get a few little vlog clips. Of so I am going to stick it on a wee time lapse whilst the a blast through this. Uh, I have made this before. It is relatively easy. I say relatively. It is very easy. But for a person who is not a very good cook, this is like kind of my limit. I'll be honest. Anyway, let's do this. base, whatever you want to call it. Um, that only covered about half of us pan, so let's do that again. <laughs> okay, that's better. So now the base is on, let's move on and do the chocolate. This is the fun part and it takes like five minutes. So I'm going to break it up, put it in the same jug, put it back in the microwave and then we're just going to pour and it's going to taste so good. I'm very excited for this. <laughs> Imagine Caden's like that. Oh sorry, I really hate mint aero. Too late now. <laughs> uh, no, I'm sure, I'm sure you'll like it, but if not, I, I mean, I'll keep you posted, but we'll see. <laughs> Okay, again, I have run out halfway through. I don't know what's wrong with me. Why can I not measure anything? <laughs> oh dear, but it's a good job. I did actually get backup chocolate. Just in case this happens. Hold on. However, it is not mint aero, but it is snowball aero, which I think is just white aero bubbles. I think. 
I don't know. But uh, there is more chocolate here than God. Can you imagine? So I guess half of this is going to be like mint and half it's just going to be white chocolate, but that's fine. That's fine. So just bear with me. I'm going to finish this and then I'll come back and show you guys the finished result. Okay, here it is, the finished tray bake. Was it what I was trying to make? Absolutely not, but we improvised and actually, I think this looks pretty cool, if I do say so myself. Uh, so this side is like the mini aero side and this side is like the snowball side. I don't know man, I think uh, I made that work pretty well. Just saying, I think that's going to be really good. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna get on, I've got like a list of the length of myself, I need to do all these dishes obviously, let that sit. I did get some little candles here as well to go in that, so I'm gonna let it set a little bit more before I put them in so that they're not like encrusted in it, because that would be weird. Anyway, uh, yes, let me show you what else I have been up to. So. I don't know if I've really spoke to you guys that much about this or not, but I have found a new love for resin. I just I really, oh, I'm liking resin these days. It's very fun. It's, it's quite soothing. Anyway, uh, so I have been making some new coasters. I've got new moulds for Christmas time, star-shaped ones. Uh, so I have been very busy this morning making these they are setting uh, i do have uv resin which i've used to make like these little clips uh but mostly these are just the normal resin uh, some of it is uv i'll be honest because i had a bit of a disaster <laughs> so i was mixing my resin was getting on with the millions of things that i need to do uh and then left it to cure too long <laughs> And it was like stuck on the inside of this like pot. I've just been using these like little yogurt pots to mix them. Anyway, so that like stuck to the, I wish I'd kept it now to show you. It's in the bin, but never mind. It was like cured in the pot. I was like, that. oh my God, I've just wasted so much resin. Oh no, like what am I going to do? So I used a little bit of the UV and actually I think it, it looks okay. This one, this one, I'll be honest, um, I don't think it's going to be very cute because this, you can see it here, is like a huge hard lump that just was a disaster because I stupidly left it too long to cure. Uh, and it just didn't really work out very well. But the rest are okay. This one's fine. This is going to be fine. This is going to be fine. And this one's going to be fine. But this one, <laughs> a bit questionable. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see how it turns out, I guess. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go now. Stop rambling on it. I'll come back and see you tomorrow uh, before we go bowling and then, you know, I'll try and get a few clips when we're there. Uh, I think it's going to be really fun. I have not been bowling, I, I don't even know, the last time that I went bowling. A long time ago, years, years and years ago. So I think that'll be pretty good. Anyway, going to go stop rambling. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hello friends, it is Friday, the time is just before three. I am just waiting on Caden coming to pick me up before we go bowling, but here is a look at the cake. It turned out pretty well, I haven't tried it yet, obviously, but it looks pretty decent. If I do say so myself, I think that looks pretty good, although we did have one casualty, but that's fine, I'm sure it'll still taste the same. Just having a little iced coffee before I go, although the problem is, this is going to make me pee, like, so bad. I just cannot hold my liquids. I don't know what's wrong with me. But I think it's fine. Everywhere has toilets open now. See, I think my... <laughs> and this might be too much information, but let me know if you guys agree. When it was, like, COVID, like, at the height of COVID, and nowhere was open, like, nowhere had public toilets open, I had like such an anxiety thing about that, about being out somewhere and having to go to the toilet and not being able to go. And I think now 
I'm still in that mind frame of what if I need to be when I'm out? Oh my god. But now it's fine. So I don't know. I don't know. I think COVID has a lot to answer for. Absolutely. Anyway, enough PP chat. I will see you when we're at the bowling alley. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you, I thought you go to Because your last shot, it does it sometimes. It's sometimes dating the last shot, and then you've got another one there. Maybe she's had four shots. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> How is that? I just had a strike. <laughs> <laughs> Actual the face. I've never seen somebody be more relieved. Never. Hello friends, it is Sunday. So the bowling was so much fun. As you can see from the previous clips, Caden kicked my ass twice. He bet me. Twice. <laughs> To be fair, I fully expected that because I'm not very good and I do not have any upper body strength. The balls were so heavy. It was ridiculous, but it was so much fun. Uh, we did not vlog anything on Friday night because it was bonfire night and Caden's dogs were petrified. The poor wee souls were just absolutely terrified at the fireworks. It was such a shame. So they ended up coming to me and having a wee sleepover. And it was so cute. They just, I was really surprised. They actually settled down really well. Obviously there were a few fireworks happening and they were a bit scared, but it was really nice to have a wee cozy night in with the dogs. We played just daft games, like heads up. And it was so funny. We are like the worst at explaining to each other. Uh, I wish I had took vlog clips of that because it was so funny. But um, we just, we had a really lovely night. Anyway, uh, so that's what happened. Sorry I didn't get any clips of that, but, you know, it was a bit chaotic and the dogs were just a bit scared and everything. But 
it's fine. Anyway, it's Sunday. I am having a bit of a chilled morning, just doing some editing and stuff um, and then I'm going to sort out lunches and whatever for next week, back to work next week. Um, I've had this week off, I think that was evident. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know if it was or not. Uh, I'm still getting used to the, the being back in the weekly vlogging mind frame, so sorry if this one's been a bit weird and I'm uh, kind of not what they usually are. I don't know. I haven't edited yet, so we'll see. <laughs> Anyway, I am going to round out this vlog here, so remember if you like this one then hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe, there's going to be lots of new content coming your way, vlogmas is happening soon, how exciting, uh, you know obviously not real vlogmas because I am at work full time so I cannot possibly vlog every single day but stay tuned there's going to be some vlogmas content coming soon uh, and that is it if you want to see any more content from me you can check out my social medias at nicholasavage22 and if you fancy it check out my business page which is savage styles I will link it below and that's me so see you all next time bye bye Thank you.